New Year. So one of the things I love to do is grab my camera and my scanner, drive about an hour south from the office and work in what I like to call my remote office. And it's a place where I can catch up on email and also take some time in the quiet to plan for our future. So where are we today? Well, we're at the NS and CSX Diamond in Dalton, Georgia. So as we kick off 2017, what better place to take a look forward than right here in Dalton? So we want to just take a few minutes and share with you what we have coming up later this year. And you know, one of the things that's really important to us is, is meeting you, our viewers, and our, and our customers. And so what we're going to do this year is we're going to attend a, at least 15 shows and probably add a couple more. And during those shows, we'd like to invite you to contact us because we would love to meet with your model railroad club or your organization while we're in town. We'll come to your club, we'll share our story, we'll have our models with us, and uh, you can get a chance to meet us one-on-one. -on -one. If you're within a couple hours drive of any of the shows that we're going to, or Southeast Tennessee where our home office is, or our crew is in Southern California, email us at sales at scaletrains.com with the information about your club, and we'll get back to you about getting together. Another way we'll be meeting folks is by hosting seminars at some major events this year. This coming week we'll be at the RPM meet in Cocoa Beach, Florida, and Paul will be sharing how we develop new products, especially focusing on the SD40-2, and it seems like the millions of variations. And when you leave that seminar, you'll actually be able to help manufacturers like ourselves do research for new projects. Then coming up later this month, we'll be at the Railroad Hobby Show in East Springfield, Mass. And on Friday at 1 p.m., we're going to unveil our next all-new model. We'll even have two running samples, seven painted and decorated samples, uh, and, and even more to share. And we'll go through the whole research process. If you'd like to sign up for that seminar, visit RailroadHobbyShow.com. And if you can't be there, we're going to do Facebook Live that day, keeping our fingers crossed that the Internet connection is solid. And we'll share with you online as well. And then later this summer, we'll be at the RPM meet in uh, St. Louis doing a seminar there as well. And if you have an event that you'd like us to do a seminar at, co contact us at sales at scaletrains.com. And if it works out for us and, and you as well, maybe we can be there too. So another area we're going to focus on in 2017 is making ordering so much easier from us. In February, we're going to implement a brand new pre-ordering system. You'll be able to place pre-orders, keep track of your pre-orders, and we'll have a much simpler system on the back end so we can fill your pre-orders even faster. Also this year, we're going to implement a new inventory management system so that our inventory tracking is much more accurate in real time. And then finally, we'll also be working to transition our select retailers over to an online ordering system for in-stock product, as well as pre-orders too. Speaking of select retailers, we remain committed to selling online at scaletrains.com as well as through select retailers. You know, when a retailer signs up with us, we make a commitment to them and they make a commitment to us. And one of those commitments is that they'll stock inventory, an assortment of all of our products, uh, and keep that on the shelf. And the reason that we do that is when someone goes to our retailer locator, we want to make sure that they can find our products when they go to a store. Now, earlier this year, or in 2016, we, uh, we parted company with a few retailers who decided not that that was not the approach for them. It's their business model, if that works for them, great. And you know, we made some other changes as well. But rest assured, we'll continue to sell through your local brick and mortar retailer. Let's chat about delivery dates. You know, there's nothing more frustrating than having to push a delivery date, and it's the last thing that we want to do. But you know, we're committed to quality and bringing the best models to market that we possibly can. We work closely with our factory at the time of announcement, but it seems like there's always something that comes up in the process. Rest assured, we're always going to give you the best product possible. 
You maybe have heard about the in-scale turbine and the delivery delay on that. We had some consistency issues with the performance between one A and B and another A and B. The good news is, is we shoot this video, we've received the new samples and we're testing them now. If all goes as planned, we'll be able to ship that product soon. Well, I'm sure you feel like I'm getting a little long-winded, so we thought we'd change up the scenery a little bit. Now, here's the cool thing. In January, we're going to kick off our first sweepstakes, and we're going to have a ton of cool prizes. Things like gift cards, this t-shirt that I'm holding here, and the grand prize, a G-Clay painting by Gil Bennett. So this will be something that you'll really treasure in your railroad room. Be sure to watch our newsletter and Facebook for all the details later this month. So now the part you've all been waiting for. What new products are coming in 2017? Well, just this coming week in Cocoa Beach, we're going to announce the next production run of SD40-2s, which will include the very unique SD40-3 from CSX. Some of you might know it as the SpongeBob Square Cap. No one's ever offered that particular version of the SD40-2 before. And then we already mentioned the seminar that's coming up later this month at the Railroad Hobby Show in West Springfield, Mass. We're going to announce what we believe will be the biggest locomotive announcement this year. It's never been available in HO scale in either brass or plastic. It's got multiple road names, both uh, railroad and private owner, several different variations. We think you're going to be really excited. And the cool part is, I think there's something like seven road names we'll have on display, and we'll have two running samples at the layout behind our booth at the show, so we hope you can stop by and see us. You know, continuing on in HO scale, in the first quarter, we'll announce another all-new freight car uh, for unit train service. And then going a little later in the year, you know, mid-summer, probably at the, at the uh, National Train Show, we'll unveil a, uh, another HO freight car. Oh, wait, train! Sorry, had to catch that train. There were a couple of NS-9s on the front. And, hey, got to have a little fun, right? So we were talking about the summertime, and we'll announce our first road names in the Rivet Counter Air Slide 4180, which we mentioned earlier last year. And then going on a little further in the year, we'll actually announce another all-new locomotive that's never been available in plastic, uh, probably around the time of Train Fest and HO. So for you end scalers, we have a lot in store too, but before we talk about that, you know, we want to apologize. We had really hoped to have a lot more in scale by this point, but unfortunately some things have come up which have delayed a few releases. You know, back at Train Fest, we had a, a new rolling stock announcement that we wanted to announce, and we got the samples and they just weren't up to our standards and, and we decided we couldn't announce that product. So here's where we are right now. We expect to make uh, at least one or two rolling stock announcements in the first quarter, uh, probably two freight car announcements in the second quarter, by the time we get to Pittsburgh in June, the hope and the plan is to have a brand new locomotive, never been available before in N-Scale, neither in brass or plastic. So that one's kind of iffy, it might slip a little bit, but that's the hope. And then a little later in the summertime, we'll have another N-Scale freight car, and probably by the end of the year, we'll have one more. Uh, and then beyond that, you'll see some more road names for the SD40-2s, the Carbon Blacks, and the HO and N-Scale containers. Who knows, we might stick it, sneak another surprise or two in there for you. So that's a look ahead for 2017. You know, we're really looking forward to meeting you at shows and events this year. Don't forget to send us your request at sales at scaletrains.com and hopefully we'll see you on the road. Take care, God bless, happy new year.